Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephen Brenland with another video. So today in this video, it is a sequel to my How to Smell Fresh Down There video. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But this is an extended sequel, next episode kind of thing. And in this video, you will be learning about how to get rid of a smelly bum. Unfortunately, some people struggle with body odors and some people don't even know that they struggle with this. But if you check yourself, sometimes things aren't smelling as pleasant as they could be. Or in some circumstances, a lot of people may just be watching this video because they want to know how to not run into any problems with odours in their private parts. So whatever your situation is, whether you struggle with odours or whether you just want to make sure you know all the tips and information on how to smell good down below, then make sure that you watch this video because I will be teaching you how to get rid of a smelly bum. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. And also leave a big thumbs up. When talking about how to get rid of a smelly butt, we need to know the causes. So there are four main causes. Number one being the types of sweat that your body gives out can really <laughs> make your body smell. We practically know this already, but if you sweat down there quite a lot, that is one of the reasons why you are smelling down there. The second point is if you suffer with fish odor syndrome. The third point is the different types of bacteria on your body. And the fourth point is body odor. So those are all the causes and there are definitely solutions into fixing this problem. So let's just get straight into how to get rid of a smelly butt. Wear clean, loose and non-synthetic clothes. When you wear tight clothes down there, it actually prevents your skin from breathing. Now you may be looking at me and you may be thinking, Stephen, you wear tight clothes. This is correct. However, I always make sure that there's always a bit of space in my private parts for them to breathe and my underwear as well. If I'm wearing boxers, I will make sure they're, they're a bit loose. And if not, then I will probably just wear a jock strap and my bare cheeks are out all day anyway, so. And if you wanna see my jock strap, you can go on my OnlyFans. <laughs> synthetic clothes can amplify the smell of you and also cause your butt to break out. Instead of synthetic clothes, try and wear more natural clothes, like clothes that are made from cotton. Easy fitting and comfortable, but stylish. I spoke about this in my previous video, but hygiene wipes or arse wipes. You should just carry them in your bag every day and use them once or twice a day and have a wipe down there and keep things smelling fresh and also just staying in control of that bacteria. It is inevitable that a human is going to have bacteria on their body. But if you are a person who does suffer with odour down below, then you need to be staying on top of it, meaning that you need to be carrying hygiene wipes so that you can wipe yourself throughout the day and just be eliminating that bacteria so it doesn't build up throughout the whole day because that is where some people go wrong. If you are looking for any products, I will recommend them down in the description down below. Take cold showers. Now listen, I am a firm believer that taking warm and hot showers is great for actually getting in and cleaning your body. So personally, I don't wanna tell you to have a, a complete cold shower. First of all, because no one wants to do that. And secondly, just because no one wants to do that. But what I do when I have a shower is throughout the shower, I will be decreasing the temperature so that I can get used to like a lukewarm feeling. At the end of my shower for about one minute if i can bear it or 20 seconds whatever i will make the shower cold and i will continue cleaning myself in cold water but this is towards the end of the shower and that's just so that when i get out of the shower my body is cool whereas if i got out of a hot shower the temperature of my skin would be too hot and that would immediately cause me and other people to sweat. Also, make sure that when you are in the shower, you are exfoliating your butt. Now you can do this once or twice a week, but when you exfoliate your skin, especially in areas that don't get exposure to the sun or just to anything, then it's really beneficial because it's like under your armpits and in between your cheeks, there's no exposure. So you need to be going in there and exfoliating that skin to get rid of the dead skin cells. Otherwise things are gonna build up and odor is going to build up. So exfoliate, but when you're exfoliating your gentle private parts, make sure that you are being gentle and firm but mostly gentle because you don't want to end up getting cuts down there. Be in control of your diet. Watch what you eat. Obviously, anyone can eat what they want. That's not the problem, but it, the problem is consuming something bad too much. For example, dairy products. 
when we have too much dairy products or too much junk food, there are so many bad things that happen to our body. Now, I am a person who loves chocolate, I really do, but I will not eat too much chocolate because I know it's just not beneficial in most ways. And if you are like me and you like chocolate or perhaps maybe you just like junk food, try and not eat it too much because that really adds to building an odour down there. And there can also be messy consequences. Now, there has been an ongoing debate in the gay community and perhaps the girl community as well, I don't know. And that is butt hair. I personally don't have butt hair. However, I don't care if you have butt hair and if you don't. Both are great aesthetically, whatever. I don't care if people have body hair or not. But if you have butt hair, butt hair can contain and hold on to bacteria. And trust me, I've been a guy with butt hair back in the day. And I've been a guy with no butt hair. And I can tell you that no butt hair is so much better, so much cleaner, and there's just less to worry about. I use hair removal cream to get rid of my butt hair. I don't shave because when you shave your butt, you will get razor bumps and it's so annoying. So I use hair removal cream to get rid of butt hair. When cleaning your butt, make sure that instead of using soaps, try and use witch hazel. Now you can put witch hazel in the bath or incorporate it in your shower routine, but soaps are actually really bad for your butt unless you find a soap that is pH neutral, there's no alcohol in it, there's no fragrances, it's a lot. I will do my best to try and find a soap to recommend to you guys, but what I will say is don't use bar soaps, they will dry out your skin. And this is the thing, when you use a bar soap on your butt when you're cleaning it, it dries out the skin so much that when you get out of the shower and you dry yourself, you will get little cuts in your bum and they will lead to worse things. The same is for liquid soaps as well, but liquid soaps aren't as harsh, however they're not that beneficial unless they are like what i recommended and i've seen on many articles that the best thing to do with cleaning your butt is washing it with lukewarm water but if you're like me you don't just want to wash it with lukewarm water i still use liquid soap but i just make sure that the ingredients aren't harsh in the soap check what soap you're using to clean your butt and then google whether it's good because it probably isn't make sure that when you're having a shower you're using a washcloth washcloths are the best way to clean your private parts Again, don't be really rough, but make sure that you're getting in there thoroughly and cleaning yourself. If you're just using your hands to clean your butt, that's not the best thing and it's probably not doing that much. But make sure that you get a washcloth so you can really get in there and clean everything out. When you get out of the shower, dry your bum properly. Don't just get the towel and wipe and then be done with it. Do what I do. Get down and squat so your bare cheeks are open and then pat the towel in between your cheeks, right near your hole, just so that you can actually dry it. And make sure that you're patting the towel and pressing it up against your skin. Don't be rubbing it, just pat it and hold it there. I pat the towel up against my skin for about three seconds, remove it, pat it again in a new area, and I do this until it's dry. So what you want to do is pretty much the same, and just make sure that you are spending time drying your peach, because if you are not drying your peach correctly, you can check 20 minutes later when you've got your clothes on. You can put a finger down there and in between your cheeks will still be wet. And if it's still wet, that means that the excess moisture is going to build up bacteria and an odour. So make sure that you're drying your peach correctly. Okay everyone, those are the tips for today. I hope this helps you and I hope that you can continue smelling fresh down there and living your best life. At the end of the day, you do you, but I hope these tips can somehow help you or someone. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Make sure that you leave it a big thumbs up so you can get the next part sooner. I think I'm gonna make a video on how to actually clean your peach properly. Maybe I'll have to film a tutorial. But other than that, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm.